Greetings everybody, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be doing sprite animation, which is very very cool um, as long as you're good at doing art, which is not the case in my end, but imagine that what you saw over here were some awesome looking art or crack VFX. This is a crack VFX, I want to be using this on my game um, when my pickaxe hits the thing, the boss. So it's going to be very very fast, very very subtle at the same time, but I want to have an FX and here it is. So over here is six different frames, they're all 32 by 32, and I play them in the game in Unity, like so I can also control the speed. That might be a little bit too fast. You could go even a little bit slower, and so on. So imagine everything you could do if you had decent pen and you know how to art properly, <laughs> which is not my case, but I encourage that you go ahead and try that out yourself. So without further ado, let's jump into the game. It's a very, very simple video today, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so we begin our journey with a drawing software or a sprite that you find online. We just begin our journey with the actual art itself. So if we have a look over here, my game is, you know, very pixelated. It, it doesn't take much detail to create some kind of details. Well, that, that's kind of obvious, but, <laughs> um, what I'm trying to say is that I could create, say, a decent crack looking thing with 32 pixels. So something very, very, very simple like this. By the way, I'm using Photoshop. As I said earlier, you can use GIMP, you can use whatever you want. Um, but you know, like it could have a crack like that. Obviously, I'm not the best artist, but I'll, I'll figure out something as we're doing it. So once you decide what is a good size for your crack animation, for your fireball animation, you have that good size. Now you have to multiply it um, based on how many frames do you want. So do you want to have something very fast, very detailed? Do you want it to have a little bit of flag in between? It's really up to you. Um, it's like there, there's no, there's no guideline regarding that, except the guideline you set for your art direction in your own game. Um, mine, I'm gonna say I need a total of six frames. So it's very simple, right? If I need six frame, I'm gonna go here in my width, and I'm gonna say, okay, well, I need this, but times six. Now the height can stay the same because I'm just going to be racking those one next to each other. So what's 32 times 6? It's 192. And I just go ahead and I create that. Now it's very important that when I do go ahead and I create my cracks, I don't overlap and I always stay at the proper place. Now um, when I'm using Photoshop, I always like to set my ruler so I can see how big um, my selection is. In case you want to do that, by the way, you can head over to Preferences under Edit unit and ruler and just set everything on pixels. That's what I do here. Now with that in mind, I can go ahead and lay down the quick selection. That's going to say 32 pixel by 32 pixel. can put that here. I can put a background color as I'm working on it. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think I have like an orange-ish color in my final design. So I'm going to try that. Now quickly, before I start drawing, I am going to go ahead and take my layer, my 32 by 32 square, and duplicate it with a control J then hit Control T for free move and I'll move it over 64 pixels. Why 64? Because it's 32 times 2. And I'll do that once more so I can have a nice little grid. Um, like so. So I'm going to go ahead, merge everything and that's going to be my background. This will be toggled off at the end but now I know exactly where I can draw my things and where I can, you know, um, start laying down my animation. Now it is time for me to start drawing the first frame of our animation. Whatever the sprite is going to be, I have to draw the first frame right here. So as I mentioned, in, in my case over here, what I'm using is a crack, just a crack. Like I'm gonna have an impact and I wanna see some, some type of crack that just pops up um, and maybe a little bit of particle that flies out of it. So what I could do is like go in the middle, do something like that, like create one big impact point and maybe a little bit of shattering around it very very subtle it's the first frame it shouldn't be really that big to be honest because we need a couple of more frames for it to build up now i'm going to carefully take this i copied it again using the same technique and i'll move it 32 pixels over and i have to make sure it's 32 pixels over um, else it's just gonna mess up everything and that would be my second frame over here so i'm gonna go ahead you probably get the gist of it i'm gonna go ahead and just Go ahead and increment that, make that a little bit bigger maybe, add more cracks, because that's what it is going to 
build into over time and I have to do that for the amount of frame I have so I'll be right back. And I ended up with something like this which as I said earlier I'm not the best artist please don't judge me on that but um, that will do it you'll, you'll get the gist of it right? So I made sure they're all evenly spaced by 32 pixels because that's the size of a square. Now I'll go ahead and I'll turn off this background layer so I can keep the alpha. Save this inside of my project which is over here. Assets, artwork, um, I have it somewhere here, we'll just call this cracks. And we'll go ahead and we'll integrate that within our game. And it's going to take a couple of seconds, it's actually very simple. We don't really have to create a script for that anymore. What's really fun about this is that we can simply go in here and um, here is my cracks. We can turn that into a sprite to the UI, sprite mode being a multiple apply this and then we can just don't mind about the errors I'm using a, a new version of unity and this keeps on crashing but there's no real problem <laughs> um, we can go over here for myself since I'm using um, pixel art I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I put that on point but what's really important is that you go under sprite editor which will pop over here that's the new sprite editor by the way it looks good um, and then we're gonna go ahead and splice them now we know that every single one of these is supposed to be 30 pixels so we can go over here and say hey I'd like to do a grid by cell size I know it's 32 by 32 oops we can slice and right away without more work than that oops by the way don't don't <laughs> drag um, w without any more work than that we have all the cracks crack 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 we can then hit apply and once we go back in here you'll find that you have your 5 texture at the bottom over here you'll be able to see the animation it's gonna be something like that so you even see I did a little bit of a particle that fly out <laughs> right so here's the funny thing back in the days we'd have to create a script for it but ever since we have the animation system all we have to do is take this thing drag and drop it and we have our animation I believe do we have it or do I have a crash I probably have a crash right now um, let me go ahead and try this in a new scene and hit play well it's not gonna work for some reason we don't have the animation um, but for you if you go ahead and you drag this inside of your game you should receive the animation in case you don't have that in case you're unlucky like I am right now um, then you might need to go ahead and create yourself I'll, I'll do it here for the, the purpose of showing um, create yourself an animator and also an animation within it because what it really does when you just drag and drop this inside it does the following so you have the crack you have the animator component on it you can drag your new animator component bring out the animation window and what it does is it creates a animation so you're gonna create yourself a clip name is not valid okay why is it not valid no it's bad okay very weird um, it's gonna do the following so on the first frame which is over here you have crack zero. Oh, no not the color my bad you have crack zero and you gotta change this so it actually shows up on the second frame I have crack one the next frame crack two and so on so that's the only thing that really just happens when you drag and drop and it works for my case it didn't work so I'm doing it manually which can be a pain in the butt if you have a lot more animation but for for now it's good to show you how exactly this works in the back end and that's it so I have my animation now obviously this is not something you want this is not something that's <laughs> that's um, viable for your game it's way too fast so what you can do is you can modify the speed of it inside of the animator itself so this thing over here oh and also um, my animation the one I've just created if I just press play right now it's gonna go ahead and loop obviously I don't want that for my game I just want it to happen once and happen very fast um, so what I'll do is I'll find it where's my cracks animation here and by clicking on my animation over here I can remove the loop time which is gonna stop it from looping okay um, now in terms of speed you can head over here on your cracks play and lower that down so let's have a look at this in the game it's way too slow 
Let's play it again. Um, I don't think we can actually... Hmm, I'm gonna put it on loop just for testing purpose. So something very simple like that, like it doesn't take more effort than this. And if we zoom this in, there, I think it's a little bit too slow. So I'm gonna try and speed it up a little bit more. It's going to be very, very brief. Like it's going to be very, very small in the game. So maybe something like this. Now imagine all you could do if you had talent and you could draw. And that's actually where I'll be ending today's episode, guys. Go ahead and test out everything you can do with this. Just go ahead and, and create yourself some fireballs, some wind effects, some particles, everything you want. Um, obviously, put a little bit more time into art <laughs> so it looks better than mine. But uh, that's that's the gist of it. It's very simple. Again, there is no package today simply because this is, I think this is something you can do on your own and my crack is not really good for sharing. It's not the best. <laughs> you can find some better one online. That being said, I'd like to give a quick shout out to all the patrons that support me financially um, through this channel. Really appreciate that. I'd like to also thank everybody who's giving me a watch time by while watching this video and also liking it, subscribing, and, and all that kind of good stuff that I really appreciate. Um, also, if you'd like to download any files, all the files are pretty much free. All you have to do, all I ask you to do is basically just sign up on the website. You can do that using Discord, YouTube, or Patreon. So whatever the, the choice is, oh, and also I ask you to subscribe. <laughs> so you can download everything for free as long as you're subscribed to the channel, which is free, of course. So. That being said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.